Hello, everybody. I'm Angela Johnson. This is Smokey. Hi, Schmoots. It's a Hunter Harry one. My name is Smokey. You can follow me on Instagram, Smokey Chronicles. Shameless plug for Smokey's Instagram page. Welcome back to Behind the Joke. Hey, can you like lay low? Can you lay low? You are watching Behind the Joke. In this week's episode, we're gonna go to my fourth hour special, Mahalo and Goodnight, which is currently streaming on Hulu right now, if you haven't seen it yet. We're gonna look at a joke called Reverse Relaxation and break it down for you. Take a look. I went to go get a massage, and the guy who was giving me my massage fell asleep. <laughs> I know, I know. You're probably thinking to yourselves right now, like, mm, how is that even possible? I didn't know it was an option either. <laughs> Apparently, I'm really good at reverse relaxation. <laughs> I went to get a massage, and I should have known, you guys, I should have known it was gonna be weird because it started off weird. He started by asking me these weird, like, seance-type questions, <laughs> right? He's like, all right, close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Now tell me, where are you? <laughs> Massage envy. <laughs> now tell me, what are you? <laughs> a girl. Um, I don't like this part of the massage. <laughs> he starts by rubbing my feet, right? We're 15 minutes into the massage. He's rubbing my feet. All of a sudden, he starts to slow down. <laughs> Next thing you know, he just stopped. <laughs> now he's just holding my foot. <laughs> and at first, I thought he was doing his seance thing again. I was like, oh, okay. He's probably meditating the pain out my foot. But then I could hear his breathing get real deep and slow. And then he did this. and then continued the massage. <laughs> then he tried to switch it up, right? So now he's rubbing my back, okay? He put some elbow in it. So he's like, all right, just uh, take a deep breath. <laughs> he slipped off and tried to pretend that was his new technique. <laughs> okay, so this joke is interesting because it's one of the ones that people always ask me, did that really happen to you? Because it seems so unbelievable that a massage therapist would fall asleep on you. I have never in my entire life, still until this day, met anyone else who has had this happen to them. And it didn't happen to me once, it happened twice, you guys. I'm not lying. It happened two times. And after the first time, I tried telling the story on stage, but I couldn't crack it. I couldn't figure out the rhythm, the timing of it. And I was just settling for a cheap punchline at the end. I was going for a play on happy ending massages and it was just so hacky. And hacky basically means it's overused. And you can take an overused topic and put an original spin on it, have something original to say about it, and that would definitely take it out of hacky land. But I wasn't even doing that. Like, I was just settling for an easy, obvious joke. And I didn't like where that was going and it wasn't genuine to me. So I stopped telling the story and I just kind of put it on the back burner and was like, you know what? Maybe I'll revisit that and tell the joke someday. Maybe I won't. And I just stopped doing the joke. A whole year goes by, I'm in a different city and it happened again. 
I was getting a massage and the therapist fell asleep again. And I was like, are you kidding me? What are the odds? I've never heard of this happening to anyone else and now it's happened to me twice. I have to tell this joke. I have to figure out a way to tell this story on stage. Now, I don't mention any of that in the joke because it was unnecessary details that did not move the story along. So that was me cutting the fat. Cutting the fat is a technique we use in joke writing where basically you take out any details that do not move the story forward. They don't add to the punchline in any way. It's even if it's real stuff, if it's real details, sometimes they're not needed. If these details, although true, aren't helping you get to a punchline, you don't need them. It took me a while to really craft this joke because I had to figure out what details were necessary. What was the fat that I needed to cut? I decided that the details about it happening twice, that once it was in Phoenix at Massage Envy, the other time it was in Denver at some fancy day spa, all of that stuff wasn't necessary, it didn't move it forward. So I took that out and I just portrayed the story as if it happened one time with one guy in one situation. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you all the fat that I cut out, like the real stories behind it. The first time it was in Phoenix, Arizona, at a massage envy and it was coming to the end of my massage. The guy was rubbing my feet at the very end and he really fell asleep and he was like breathing deep and I kind of like lifted my head and I looked back and I was like, oh my God, he's asleep. Like, what do I do in this situation? He finally woke up. I went and I told the front desk like, um, it's kind of weird. Like your guy just fell asleep at the very end of my massage. And they were just like, oh really? Oh, that's weird. Like, what are you gonna do? It's massage envy. Okay, and then the second time it happened, I was in Denver at some like fancy pants day spa and it was right in the beginning. We had just started the massage. He was rubbing my back and his hands were just not moving on my back and like slowly sliding. Not like it was technique, like he was falling off. And it happened a couple times and I'm like a veteran with people falling asleep on me while giving a massage now. So I kind of just stopped him and was like, um, Hey bro, are you okay? And he was like, oh, sorry. Uh, must have been the uh, my blood pressure or, or maybe it was the music putting me to sleep. Ha 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 ha. Dude, I was like, you know what? Why don't we just stop right now because you've already fallen asleep like five times. I can't continue on with a massage where you keep falling asleep on me. So let's just call it a day and you should probably go take a nap. And then I went and I told the front desk lady and she was like, oh, he just had a baby. Him and his wife had a baby so he was probably awake all night. And then I felt bad. I was like, oh, poor guy. But also, I don't want somebody to fall asleep while giving me a massage. So those are all the details that really happened in the joke. Now you can see why I cut all of that out. It's not necessary, but it's fun for you to know the whole truth and you know what really happened behind the joke. So subscribe to my channel, uh, like this video, Leave me a comment, tell me what jokes you wanna see me break down, and tell me in the comment section if you have ever had somebody fall asleep while giving you a massage. I have not met one single person that this has happened to. So let me know if that's you, and if not, it'll just be me for the rest of life. I'm the one person that people like to fall asleep on because I'm that good at reverse relaxation. Bye. <laughs>